Now, the given is y equals to cot hyperbolic inverse x. Okay. Now, cot hyperbolic inverse x is same as half log of x plus 1 upon x minus 1. Okay. This proof, this proof, you can check one of my videos. Okay. Now, from here, we have to differentiate. Okay. Now, be careful over here. The domain of this x is what? The mod of x should be greater than 1. Okay. Why? Because you, you can see dy dx of core hyperbolic inverse x as well as dy dx of tan hyperbolic inverse x both are same okay answers are same but the graphs will be different okay their graphs are different why because the domain the, 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 the domain of x is different okay that you can check one of the videos okay now here let's differentiate this before differentiating let's do one thing let's apply log property over here this is same as half log of log of m by n okay is same as x plus 1 m by n is same as log of m minus log of n okay here this minus log of x minus 1 okay what i'm doing is just i'm using the log property here log of m by n is same as log m minus log n now this is my y and differentiating respect to x dy upon dx equals to half is constant i am sending outside log is there okay since log is there log is 1 upon x plus 1 into d by dx of x plus 1 is what d by dx of x is 1 differentiation of constant is 0 okay 1 plus 0 is 1 okay. you don't need to write anything okay minus log is what 1 upon x minus 1 again d by dx of x minus 1 divide dx of x is 1 minus 0 okay 1 minus 0 is same as this now we have half let's take lcm over here x minus x plus 1 into x minus 1 sending this cross x minus 1 into this into this this into this minus be careful over here you have minus over here okay minus of x plus minus minus 1 because minus is sending to x plus 1 okay now here minus x plus x gets cancelled what i have minus 1 and minus 1 is minus 2 okay yeah i have minus 2 upon 2 into here a minus b into a plus b is what a square minus b square it means x square minus 1 so 2 2 gets cancelled these 2 and these 2 gets cancelled what i have minus 1 upon x square minus 1 okay if you want to remove minus what you can do is if i am sending this here 1 upon minus minus plus 1 1 minus x square this is same as this because this minus if i send minus inside here minus x square minus minus plus okay therefore d by dx of quad inverse quad hyperbole inverse x is this okay now the second method is what let's see y equals to quad hyperbolic inverse x is same as quad of hyperbolic y is equals to x i'm sending this side or you can say you, you can say uh, multiplying quad hyperbolic inverse on both sides cos hyperbolic on both sides cos hyperbolic into y is cos hyperbolic y cos hyperbolic inverse into cos hyperbolic is what gets cancelled is equals to x okay now differentiating this with respect to x be careful here we have y over here okay we have y over here but we will differentiate with respect to x so differentiation of quad is what minus cosec hyperbolic square y into okay into since y is there we need to differentiate with respect to x d y upon dx and d by dx of x is what one so this is implies d y upon dx is i will send this down here we can say minus one upon this i can send minus to the side cosec hyperbolic square y okay but let's use some identities for cosec okay we have we have this okay we have 
cot hyperbolic square x minus 1 equals to cos hyperbolic square x okay now this is we need we need cos sec hyperbolic square y okay this is same as minus 1 upon cot is cot okay cos hyperbolic cot is what x okay cos hyperbolic y is my x okay this is for x square minus 1 okay this is same as if i send this minus inside what will i come minus minus plus minus x square what this is what divide dx of cot of hyperbolic inverse x is this here this okay this same as this 